Now, um, having one queue and scheduling all the process is uh, really difficult. In the sense, there are various types of process in the computer. Some sometimes uh, there are various types of process. Watch it. So the operating system itself will have some process to run. The programs which belong to the operating system are called system process. So there are system process and interactive process means uh, when you are play, playing an online game or when you are when you are doing you know some work with the computer, right? Then they are interactive when you are listening to some music. So there has to be some interaction. And batch process means you know you submit lots of jobs and then you leave and later you come and correct the results. And student process means normal students they might uh, they might have some programs to execute, right? So with these many types of process, I cannot put them all in uh, one queue and just apply one scheduling algorithm, right? Then what we do is we have multi-level uh, this queue, queue scheduling. So multi-level queue means we have various levels of queues in the sense. Uh, one level will have highest priority and next level will have you know like the decreasing so the process which are at the highest level they will have the highest priority and the process which are at the lowest level they will have the lowest priority so in this case system process will get the highest priority and the student process will get the lowest priority and the priority decreases this way right and if you observe it <coughs> whenever this process system process are there then no process from this one will be ever taken for scheduling. So the disadvantage of this method is as long as there is a process in the highest level, we will never take any of this process. All of them will stop. And if there are no system process to execute, then interactive process will be executed. As long as there are interactive process to execute, no batch processing or student processing will ever, have ever be done. So the disadvantage of this method is there will be starvation for the lower level you know, queues because there will always be some process in the higher level queues at least one or two and we will keep on executing only those therefore you know these, these are going to starve and one advantage of this one is we can up apply separate scheduling algorithm for various types of the process for system process we can, up we can apply FCFS for interactive process we can apply FJF for batch process we can apply RR round robin and for student process we can apply priority likewise for various types of process we can apply various types of scheduling algorithms that is the advantage however but then the disadvantage is you know like this so what is the solution is we are not going to have uh, a process sit in this uh, you know student level process uh, level queue for a long time then what we have is multi level feedback queues so what we do is we will have various levels of queues L1, L2, L3 and L4 then like this various levels of queues but various priorities let us say this is least priority what we do is after some time we move a process from least priority to here and after some time from here to here and after some time from here to here and finally this will get executed at the CPU got it so no process is going to start for a long time because it is going to move up and how can we how can we move up what are the parameters that depends on the implementation it depends on the implementer what you want to decide i mean like which one is important which one is not important that all is depending on the implementer the one who has implemented the code right so there are various things to be looking at it one thing is how many queues you need and which one is highest which one is lowest and whenever you put a process where is it going to enter right and how are you going to move the process up the stream and down the stream and what is the scheduling algorithm you are going to apply finally everything is implementation dependent but then one point worth noting here is by using this feedback queues that is multi-level queues and it is feedback it is also called as multi-level feedback scheduling by using this multi-level feedback scheduling we can move the process up and down therefore we can avoid the starvation completely that is what we could understand from this, right?